Hello everyone, welcome back to Seed Media. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to get GitHub um, set up on your computer. So basically, you need to head over to two sites, github.com, and um, do a Google search or a Bing search of Git and um, visit the official um, website. On the official website of Git, you scroll down and hit the download button. And you can easily go ahead and sign up for GitHub, or if you already have an account on GitHub, you simply log in. Click on the new repository and enter the repository name. And we're going to use the public um, repository, meaning that um, the repository is going to be available to every body. Click on desktop. Yeah, so the, just follow ahead with the general installation guide. You can just keep the default um, settings. We're not actually going into deep customization for the Git installation in this tutorial. Just keep the default settings launch git bash and click finish after the um, installation we can head over to our command prompt you can actually make use of the default command prompt or terminal that comes with the windows or mac computer or you can just simply use the git bash um, terminal head over to the git bash terminal you can change your directory using cd desktop and we're going to create a new uh, folder for this tutorial called new folder we're going to do that using the make directory windows command we change directly into the newly created directory and set up our username and um, email. Um, basically, have to attach our name and username to the default Git configuration. I will do that using this code. All codes that have been typed in this tutorial will be attached in the description of the video. So go ahead and set up our email. Then I'll clear the screen. I'm going to probably going to do that several times in this tutorial just for uh, to increase the readability. So the first thing we need to do in this tutorial is initialize the folder where uh, where we have our files or documents stored and we do that using the git init command then we do git add dots to add every single um every single file within the folder to github after doing that then we do git status to check the um, status of the branch and external that we have no commits yet then we'll do git commit dash m and then give the um, commits like a description of i'm going to write here first um, commit uh, just to give it like a simple description of what uh, the commit is going to do then uh, we hit enter and head over to the next command so we create a branch we're going to be creating a branch in a git branch and the main branch files to be stored and then we'll copy and paste that in okay so now, yeah just basically just telling us that so we just use the good um, set upstream origin main and copy that and paste it in Hit enter. And because we're going to be running this using HTTP um, S that it may require us to enter a password. Probably I'll do another tutorial where I describe how to set that up using SSH. So whenever you're carrying out um git push and you're, you're using HTTPS, you need to keep your browser open because it might require authentication from your browser as it just did. After um the authentication has gone through, you can always close the authentication page on your browser head back to your terminal or your git repository to see the newly pushed um, files or documents so our push is complete and we simply just refresh our um, edge browser and we can see that our new commit with the name file.txt has been saved yeah we actually I actually created a, a, an empty file called uh, .txt saved it in the folder so there are, there are alternative ways of actually carrying this out. We can look at the Git desktop at a different tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.